now it's on there pretty good. Now I can introduce water and start <laughs> centering my clay because you want to center it first or your pot will be cursed. All right, so I take a sponge, top of this, keep my hands nice and moist because friction is the enemy. All right, here we go. So I have my each of my elbows, my right elbow and my left elbow are inside my leg. That way I can really make sure I'm squeezing the clay and keeping it nice and tight. <laughs> Equal amounts of pressure in my right hand and the left hand. I want you guys to pay attention to how fast my wheel is going as well. Pretty fast. sliding around you don't want that to happen and you can kind of see how the clay is starting to become centered because my extra clay oh. is more on one side does that make sense yeah. see okay so this is bad you want to clean off your hands into the bucket because we don't want to waste all that water because you don't want to get up in the middle of drawing it's just so annoying all right so i'm going to bend down again I'm trying to center it one more time i can Clean off some of this clay here by going like this and for just, so, just helps keep it centered, okay? Keep it clean. You want to keep your wheel clean. Alright. Now I'm gonna press down. Alright. Now my right hand is my dominant hand when I write, when I throw. So it's gonna go on the outside wall at all times of my pot. Does that make sense? Yes. If you're right-handed, it's your right hand's on the outside. If you're left-handed, your left hand's oh, on the outside. Oh, because it's already going that way? Exactly. Oh, okay, gotcha. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, here we go. So now, my left hand's gonna stay perpendicular to the wheel head. That way, when I push down with my stronger hand, the clay isn't off from the wheel, all right? Here we go. I'm locking my hands like this. I'm pushing down and in. And my left leg is preventing my left arm from flying out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? Now, my hands are really dirty. I'm going to clean them off. And I'm going to show you guys how to open up the clay without turning them into a planter. Okay? That's the key for this. Okay? So once again, my, my right hand's going to be doing everything. This is my dominant hand. My left hand stays perpendicular to the wheel head. Once again, keeping it braced with my leg. All right? Ready? Mm-hmm. Now, some people do three fingers, some people do one, then two. Doesn't really matter. My wheel is at like a medium speed. I'm not going all the way down to the wheel head because I'll make a planter and I don't want that. Nothing up the planters. Now I'm pulling the clay like towards my belly right now, I'm, like pushing my fingers towards me to open up my hole. Does that make sense? Yeah. While compressing the bottom. Then I want to make sure I don't have any air bubbles either. That would just be bad news bears. All right, so my clay's a little off center, but for the intents and purposes of just teaching you guys how to throw, that's all okay. All right, so now what I want to do is um, 
my tool on the bottom of the wheel head like this so I can create a ridge for my fingers. There's so many things. Goblets, you can make wow. many composite forms by throwing. All right, so this is where things get tricky. Because I have the inside clay, the, the bottom of my pot, my left hand's gonna be a little higher than my right hand, okay? So this is essentially what you're gonna be doing to your work. Does that make sense? Now, if you have nails, you can bend your finger over like this, just like the workers at McDonald's and Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like getting the nails all dirtied up. All right, so here, here, here we go. Some people have a sponge in their hand while they do this too. I don't. This is too much. <laughs> too much in the hand. All right. So once again, I'm keeping everything nice and braced. My right hand's on the outside, left hand's on the inside. I am squeezing with the same amount of pressure that I am using to pull up the clay. I'm making my pot grow. <laughs> Yay. You want to compress your rim after you make a full pulse, too. A few pulls, sorry. I'm going to, I have a lot of clay at the bottom. I got to pull up. See that? Where does all that clay go? It goes up. <laughs> like this clay. Oh, we recycle it. Oh. We recycle. We're green in here. You have a lot of things there. I should have saw. I saw. The one that you did? What? Oh, shut up, Madison. Honestly, you suck. <laughs> don't, fr don't bring up bad memories. That was funny, though. nice and tight. It's harder to throw a cylinder than it is a bowl. Just think about it. Think about physics and gravity. Now, you're probably like, well, I want to make a bowl. I want to make it wider. I'm going to do one more pull, and then I'm going to start altering the shape of my vessel here, all right? You want to have a consistently even wall of your work before you start altering the shape, okay? So I would say this is pretty good. You also want to vacuum out all the water. I also have, you know, the sponge on the stick in the drawer. Oh. This, that's where this would come in handy, okay? Remember, once again, air bubbles are always our enemy here, so. using my sponge to kind of like smooth the rim. See what I'm doing? Nice. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to widen it a little bit. It's my little duck ball. Mm. Now, 
if you pulled it out and you want to bring it back in, wet your hands, clean them off, and I'll show you how to collar in. You go like this. Watch this, guys. Oh, ho! Mind blown! <laughs> friction so I can add more water. That's now. good. <laughs>